And like, they're, they're gonna kill us eventually. So, so we have to get to the fortune teller, Jenny Cataract, and we have the skull with us, and we have a soul, um, which I think is in Florence is bad. Um, yeah, Florence and... Oh, that was, mm. oh wait, now that reminds me, I gotta open up this other page now. I mean what? I mean what? In the butt, that's what he meant. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, that's what he's hoping for. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Florence is just watching the chaos of the carnival with the chaos of you. I want to make a public disclaimer to say that I am not responsible or liable for any actions that happen in or occur as a part of said chat that is not part of 3D and or failing corporate branding. <clears throat> crack, crack, my lawyers have instructed me to say that at all times. It, it, it's actually super wide, which is great. It basically protects me from anything that didn't happen specifically on this channel. Unfortunately, everything goes on the channel, so, yeah. And then there's Michael. Michael is just a walking censor in our content. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like R2D2, he was so nasty to him. Every single word he said. Oh, you yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but at least we didn't have to blur our two D two's face. Wow. That hurt my face a bit. Yeah, you might need to get some ointment for that burn. You know, what'll 
need to go get some. Yeah, yeah. Where's the money? In the meantime. Or maybe something. At least. Nah, that's totally how you deal with the burn. No, no, that's I not use how cold you water. No, it isn't. Uh huh. Uh huh. My dad's a paramedic. It will uh hurt, but it's supposed to be done. It's a bitch. Regardless, all burns are gonna come heal in a certain style and suck ass. Yeah, well, you know the best way to heal a burn? Don't get a burn in the first place. Said the guy who just got burned. You burn. already heal a burn, don't get burned. I don't think you that's, uh, heal, you that's... You also heal a burn? You know how you don't... You know how you cure coronavirus? Don't get coronavirus. Simple as that, kids. Or don't have lungs. It's like, it's your fault, and you know it, kids. So you're saying either be undead or a war for it. Gotcha. Who said that made you immune to that shit? <laughs> Adapt, improvise, overcome. Mecha coronavirus. <laughs> the evolution is here. Alright, it did all go. I feel like we all are liable. So, you guys are starting your journey with your head and your peoples and your stuff. What are, what are you guys saying? We're running to we're, the cataracts. So we're running, are we? We're, we're, uh, no, we're walking. This is why I was very much asked, do we have an order? What's going on here? Let's get some specifics done. Oh, God. Um, I mean... So, so um... Florence and I were talking to Celestial. Oh, so yeah. we would be side by side. So this yeah. is probably the order we would be in. Is that what we're going with? Everybody happy with that? Wait, what's the order? I don't see it. On roll 20? Sorry. No, I mean the order that you left it. Oh, so like like where we are, like what we look like on on the screen now, is probably what we'd be like. Because we were by the water, we were talking in Celestial, you and I, and then Wedge came over and called me Baby Girl. While hushing Florence. And yeah. Gives you the dirtiest look, like really? You're assuming that I am well, I mean, I am a bard, and I so I sing a lot. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. And Florence is just like, okay, let's just get Chloe and Kelly with him. We really need her mind to get some ideal. Let's go. I think this this order will work for us. Good to know. And how are we uh, approaching it? You said walking, just generally, and walk, you know, walking. I kind of think we should like act like everything is normal. Yeah. Yeah. Act like we're normally heading here. We yeah. It looks like yeah. We're just kind of struggling. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna head over to. Fuck all nowhere. Sorry, fuck all everywhere because the other forest part is fuck all nowhere. <laughs> Learning so much about the beautiful geography of this place. And, uh, you know, we come in, we're gonna say you guys pop your characters right over there. Over where? Over where? Over there. Top right corner. Top right corner. I was gonna say, uh, yeah, we're not seeing your things, bro. Ping, ping, ping. Yeah, we're not. Oh God, boy, born a tree. Does it matter what layer I ping on? Can you see those ones? I can see that one. The purple. Yeah, we can see that one. That is weird. So apparently, I can ping just on the GM level, which I don't think you can have right. two GMs. So I don't know how that's relevant. I mean, you can. Yes, you can. Huh. Yeah, you can. Uh, I know this for a backup. 
helping out with someone else's skin and appreciate you and you all so much. Interesting. Yeah, long story short, the people trying to make it, um, um, 5e, you know, thing. Crap. So usually this forest, at least at this part, going from one to the other, has been a short, easy walk, but uh, suddenly you notice in the distance What are those? What have you done? I don't know, I can't see anything different. Just like way down and like right here. No, right here. Right. These things really need outlines so they are more right visible. Yeah, I see them, I see them. What are these? I have no idea. Yeah, you might have to do a perception check. Oh god. The first roll of the night. I'll use my to be fair, this is like perception is like 90% of this game. Or at least a version of it. Because the thing is, remember, perception is like the vast generalized looking around you. Whereas other things, you know, you get into like Arcana, you can go, oh, well, you know this about this tree or something. It's used for like religious purposes as opposed to like perception checking it. Or maybe you do a history check on it, and it's like, this tree was somebody, you know, I don't know, carved somebody's name into it. Who cares? No. Anyway, 19. 19. Oh. All right. So ahead of you, you see, uh, you know, these two. I didn't really got to get these out. There we go. See a uh, feral, almost hyena-headed humanoid that uh, appears to be wearing scraggly rags and carrying a spear. Uh, for her perception, I mean, in general. She doesn't know, I would say, I mean, I'm going to guess that, uh, we'll say that, uh, Carly, I don't know, because that's one's less of a perception one in seeing what it is as versus knowing what it is. I'm going to do an investigation. Yeah. Investigation with a negative one. Oh, no. That's a total of a 16. Total 16. Yeah, because I rolled a 17 with my name. Alright, let me double check one thing. How are you a ranger with negative one investigation? Because he has a negative one intelligence. Get shit on, Rich. Ah, okay. Oh my god, is your nature a negative one too? <laughs> He's always awful at these side steps. <laughs> Okay, so I have learned the four different ways to determine if you can even know what a monster is in this one, because 5e didn't make specific monster recognition rules. <laughs> you've got Arcana. You've got History. Nature and Religion. Oh, you mean so everything I have that has a negative one to it? Well, to be fair, to know things would be considered intelligence, and if you're stupid... Okay. Well, I'm only up. I'm only partially stupid. Well, there you go. He's but, not stupid. Yeah, which is the kind of stuff that you would need to know. Like I said, people don't count that, but like, all right, if you know, 
all of the lore and like the nature facts about a bear even if you never went to school those are book facts uh how's that for it or do you need a nature check uh arcana i think will be good for this for, and the 13 i'm gonna give it and you know that this is a uh but no, it's an 18 because do you have advantage right now Okay. Okay, we'll allow it. I was gonna say I thought that was only for magic based resistance stuff. I didn't think you just got bonuses for being near your familiar. Unless you spe specify that they're, you know, rolling to help boost you, then yes. Well, you just gotta specify that. Okay. Yeah. They're helping. Okay, then yes, then it is an 18. Uh, let's see. Where is this monster? How did I already lose? Oh, because it's in the wrong book. So what it looks like, uh, looks like a knoll. I didn't say like, I just said like, what? I didn't say like, I know what it is, but I'm not going to say it. They're pretty far around. I will say that usually wouldn't have been the pertinent check for to know if it was a null, but yeah, it's fine. It's a null. It was a high roll, or you got lucky. Either way. <laughs> person she is they said it's just the there are different uh skills used for different ones i guess i could also just take a basic intelligence yeah that would probably do it they probably talk about them a lot because there's a lot of subculture done on null stuff they well at least different people will make that's the thing there's it's all fan fucking subculture the original creators of certain races are citable but some of those things are like hundreds of or thousands of years old. Nobody has like a copyright to orcs. Yeah. Um, and the uh, even like even the ones we think we know, like right, like fairies and stuff. The actual old school lore is pretty different than the the you know modern lore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's not get into the details of a selfie. Haha, <laughs> the kelpie or the brownie. Or the fact that actually, do they actually melt it on the head, or do they talk about the details? I'm not gonna spoil that. Yep. I love brownies. Do you? Do you really love the brownie fairy? I do. I don't know, man. Brownies. Okay. They're cool. We're getting off topic, you guys. It's all the same topic. But anyway, yeah, there's some gnolls. There's some gnolls over there, you guys. Or no, wait. Florence learned that. What are those things, Florence? Should I shoot it with my crossbow? Oh, you're gonna stealth? Awesome. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I wanna be so super stealthy. Really? What about you, good Sir Wedge? Are you going to hide as well? I guess. Also, uh, I, I guess we didn't. I didn't discuss it or ask, and I kind of should have. But were we trying to bring? You know, our other compatriots uh, of the times. Sure. Of course. Alright, I will grab. Wait, I forgot. It's the other one that. Yeah, that's. I'm trying to remember exactly which adventure was which on this. Um, I feel like. I feel like it's like been a million years. And Donnie the Human. Is it Donnie the Human right now? I thought so. That's what I was making sure, but I can't find Donnie's model over here. I don't know where Donnie went. But I don't know if I was on the I don't page. Remember what, what it is, please. Just don't know where I left him. 
There he is. I'm going. I'm going to roll a stealth check. I fucking go invisible. Uh, D20 over here. Yeah, all right. Well, crit rolls are good rolls. At which point, uh, you know, Donnie's just like, wow, she is invisible. Yeah. Uh, I, I rolled a 19 with my plus 6. That's 25. Was my stealth bonus higher than yours? Probably not. No, it's a plus 4. Oh, four kind of all the ones and everybody, uh, pretty much the whole group, the main three kind of disappear. Let's see. Uh, gotta go back down to where we're at. Yeah, that should be uh, nice, stealthy. Let's see if any of these guys get lucky. They should be hidden with our group as long as they don't fuck up real bad. Oh, well, I meant the enemy, but. Oh. Let's see if these two get lucky. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. So you guys make it all the way. I'm gonna move you guys. Like okay. right here. Okay, well we're right on. Are you guys way. traveling this way? Or are you gonna travel? Which direction are you traveling? I should ask that. And had you travel. Let's just have you guys travel yourselves. Eh. I feel like uh, you brought, you brought I up I feel like we should go, like... This is going all the way to the... Fucking, alright, then, alright, okay, sure, we just follow. Alright, so this is what happens. You guys are going, everything's going fine. Keep going. You're heading downwards eventually, because we gotta get basically over here to the... Fortune teller, because she, I believe, was in the Eagle Side camp. Or sorry, we do have to get down here. All right, and then we get to right here, and you just hear, stop right there. And you just, uh, you, you just have Donnie. He's like, go on without us. No, no, they can't stay and fight with us. No, you're a coward. What? Did, did they get caught? What? Yeah, they have bad rolls. Should we act? Donnie's gonna say, Your mother was a hamster and your father smelled of elderberries. Dude, dude, uh, sh should we actually just leave them behind or should we help? That is entirely up to you. At which point, uh, the cat, like, hops on top of him. <laughs> and he charges in the pattern. What they're fighting first. And I told you I don't know what that is. How hard, can, how hard can it really be to, uh, to get some gnolls? How hard can it really be to kill some gnolls? You know, the messed up part is they almost got away with it. I almost got away with it, too, if it weren't for you meddling kids. No! no I didn't know this was for you. I should put my dog on right now. <laughs> It's my favorite. How far can my crossbow shoot? 80 feet? When unobstructed. Am I obstructed? I don't know, there's like a tree. Yeah, there's kind of some And trees. a tree. There's not for that guy, because somebody has no cut. <laughs> I believe that's your current set, yeah? Yeah, sharpshooter, I am ignoring three quarters covered. Yeah, and I don't believe this... Let me double check. I don't... Uh, let's see. And I can fire up to maximum range of my weapon without disadvantage. I don't want to draw a shape. I want this guy. There we go. So right there, I'd say that guy isn't, and that guy isn't, so you should be good. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna sort of stealth over, like, right here, so I can hide between, I can hide in the trees still, but see them. And where did this guy go? Can wrap his nine up a tree. Wedge is gonna grab one of his poison arrows and aim it at Noel, and then let it loose. I swear to God, if 
you accidentally shoot me, I'm gonna kill you. I'm a sharpshooter, I ain't gonna accidentally hit you unless I roll a one. I mean, then he might just shoot himself. <laughs> Poison! Yeah, there's a reason why he wants that. So, uh, but out of character, he loves me, so he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't shoot me. Well, we'll see what the roll says. Oh no. <laughs> mm, how what is it to get up a tree exactly? Uh, that's a 27 to hit. I think it's the athletics. Yeah, that should do it. <laughs> I, I rolled a 19, and I have a plus 8 to my to hit. So let's see here. I'm gonna go for this null here. Alrighty. So yeah, that null is gonna get hit with a poison arrow. And wow. Hit. Yeah, that's the funniest joke ever, and I don't think we can... Can we not hear me? So uh, I'll roll my uh, one. I'll roll my one d8 plus four for the damage. Alrighty. Oh, oh, maximum damage, baby. That's a twelve just from the raven from the uh, arrow bit. Nice. Now, now he has to make a constitution save. On a different note. Alrighty, did not make a constitution save. So now I get a roll. Was it three three d8? I mean, I think you know what happens. <laughs> yeah. It's not a big, it's not a big question. No, no, but it does funny. It Come on, you can't tell me you wouldn't have fun with this one. I mean, <laughs> of course. Oh, damn, dude. So, not only did the ball take 12 damage from the arrow hitting him, it also took 19 damage from the poison. Nice. So that's uh, 31 damage to that knoll. Very nice. Do you fail badly? I meant crit fail. <laughs> so here's uh, here's what's gonna happen for you there. You're uh, you're gonna take a nice trip up to the uh, top of that there tree, right about like where you were gonna go, and then you're gonna fall down. Uh, That's a real zero, is getting to where you were gonna be and then falling off. Yeah. So how far were you gonna climb that tree there? <laughs> uh, at least, at least, at least, I mean... I figure at least 10 feet. There's no real good reason to climb a tree unless it's 5 or 10 feet. Uh, well, I believe for... I believe it's usually a 1d6 per 10 feet. Yeah. So, let's see. Da, 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 da. There you go. Poor damage. I'm gonna play 11 if you already know you're stabbing someone. <laughs> I I would like to take my crossbow and shoot the one that that Wedge did not shoot. Alrighty. First time I mean, shooting my crossbow with an enemy. I mean that was kind of a surprise round. We haven't rolled an issue yet. Which is interesting because they they were surprised by you, but not by this guy. So now they ever got to roll their shit too. I think I rolled a sixteen. Yes, I rolled a sixteen, and I add five, so twenty one to hit. I mean, yeah, that's a hit. <laughs> And I'm gonna roll my D8, and then I add three to the D8. Five damage total. Nice. It's the first enemy I hit with a crossbow, you guys. <laughs> I mean, at least.
least your crit fail was on the surprise round. After she had plumped her head, probably, and probably rubbed her nose. That's cocked. It's cocked again. What is wrong with my dice tray? Uh, same thing that just happened to me of crit, uh, critting and then put two crit fails in a row. Um, I. Are we rolling initiative or no? Are we rolling initiative? No, yeah, because then we will take the fight with them. Um, I've got. Let me look here. Seven plus four is eleven. It's my initiative. I'm just so excited to uh, finally hit something with my crossbow. Alright, and there's the turn order up there for people who need to use it. I'll put your character up there in just a sec. If it's not already. He also has a bunch of homebrew crap on his character. Uh, actually, the only homebrew crap I have is poison. Uh, that's true. Sorry, is that? And then he had added, what was the other thing that your equipment on already? Uh, my equipment has nothing special. I literally have no special equipment, dude. The only thing is that poison. Besides that, everything else is legit. I'm a bog standard bard. And I'm also I'm not a rage burglar. Yeah, and I'm just. Yeah, it doesn't organize them for you, which you would think, you know, would be the thing. No, I mean, like, I'm literally not there. I'm not, I'm not there. And don't have a lot of Oh my god, people keep texting me, and I'm just like, stop. I'm in the middle of something. It's TikTok. Alrighty. So, let's see what their initiative is. Oh no, they share one with him. And then, where the, this car is character model. There it is. It, it's not as flashy as the bordered character models. It's true. I need to make my character. I need to draw my character. I need to draw Carly. Let's see if she dies today. She's not gonna die today. Wedge is gonna die. <laughs> Again. I love his confidence. I love how the statement is again word in there. Oh, it's because Wedge isn't gonna kill you again. Wedge is gonna save the world. No, Wedge is gonna die trying. No, Wedge is gonna save the world only to have Tiamat brought into the world which he serves. Yeah, in which she's gonna destroy the world. Yeah. She's gonna, the world. She's just gonna take it over and rule over it to tyranny. Yeah. yeah. What do you think that entails? It's not destruction of the world, I can tell you that. Guys, this is uh, future thought. We're AUing right now. Uh, yes, yes, and he I mean, she's not going to destroy the entire world. That's not her goal. Mm, but she's going to get rid of any impossible thing that would oppose it. Which means a lot of, and mean, keep in mind, a lot of people don't want her behind around. They're the reason why she's where she is. I mean, the only reason she is where she is right now is because Bahama had to be a little bitch and get the help of the Sun God Sealer in the Nine Hells. Hey, that's like there wasn't a reason behind that. I'm just sitting here eating Starburst while I'm watching you guys argue. <laughs> yeah. Is this a thing about this from a standpoint of logic? Because there is no logic in it because... It makes no sense. Because when 
Wedge. Wedge serves Tiamat. He doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, because he got he gets a happy ending. Or I'm like, wait a minute, hold the ball. What about me and my happy ending? I mean, Wedge. If you want a happy up. ending, wink. <laughs> no. Wedge. Wedge has given you options. I'm sorry, I'm not drunk enough for that. <laughs> and there's not enough kegs in the world to do it. Surely there's gotta be like, like, so you're like a knight of Tiamat, right? So surely there's gotta be like a lady. Just um, the, like, calling the knight. a knight is an extreme stretch. I mean, because even fallen knights tend to have some form of honor. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, you call it a knight for. I mean, like. I, I mean, like, in the, like, the ranking, like, what are you in the ranking again? Like, you high up, right? So, like, there's only two other positions ahead of me. Yeah, so you're like, okay, so there's like, you're like, you're like a dude, right? Sure, we'll say that. So surely there must be a duchess. I mean, it would fall under the same ranking as, you know, what he currently is. If the Duke's girlfriend is there at the end of the world, surely they're not going to, like, make her, like, a servant or whatever. Because she's, like, royalty. I mean, you like that's, that's kind of stretching it quite a bit. Yeah, but <laughs> me? Stretching it? Never. I mean, I understand you're a bard and everything, but that's that's really stretching it. And then, okay, and, and, so you two have your happy ending. What about me? I mean, you do realize eventually I will take this down, right? You, you, you act like this is a monogamous relationship. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you know, you're polyamorous. Oh, gosh, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a in the background. I'm just loving it because there's Michael over here talking about Tiamat, and I'm just like, you mean the lesser god Tiamat? <clears throat> oh, get shit on. <laughs> Which is also funny because so is Bahamut. Cough, lesser god, Bahamut. Yeah. yeah also, my Bahamut, persuasion, my Bahamut persuasion was a bitch that had to get the help from a sun god to seal Tiamat in the nine hells. Yeah. My persuasion. My persuasion is plus nine. I could probably, like, argue my case to Tiamat directly and, like. I would. I mean, I can get my book because I have Tiamat in the book and Bahamut. I can tell you which one is stronger right now. <laughs> you just can hear porn. This is like my book is on my. F Actually, did I put that book away? Is it in here? It's my favorite book. Is the uh, gods and deities and demigods book? Oh Lord, where is it? <laughs> Wedge is giving you an option to stay alive. Yeah, yeah, that's what you call staying alive. I feel like it's, it's, I mean, there's a lot more steps of things than death. You, you're just insinuating you just can do that. But also, like, this is all like future talking, so we're talking AU right now. Yeah. None of this is canon yet. No, this isn't AU, this is a future universe. Oh, excuse me, future universe. Where. Where to go? I like that we're just all stopping. We're in the I middle of combat. I don't even know how to get out here. <laughs> Like Lawrence doesn't agree with the concept of our group. Always the best book in existence. It's my favorite one. Tiamat will need a researcher in her like in her like um Well that's in the book of the nine hells, probably. Yeah. From when she was a hell lord. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we, we 
officially in combat now? Yeah, that's it. I mean, I've just been waiting for you guys. Alright, so since we're officially in combat, Wedge is gonna take his turn. He's gonna go see a regular Alrighty. We'll see how this attack goes. Does, does a 10 hit? No, no, no. You know, actually, no. <laughs> that's, that's a 10 with my plus 8. Yeah. Yeah, that hit. So that means I rolled a 2. I almost crit failed. Oh. Which would have been bad. I was going to say, he has a really high plus for his stuff, so if he misses anything, it should be ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. At least with that. So since I missed my arrow attack, on the actual combat step, I'm just gonna be like, huh. That sucks. <laughs> really? Then you just hear a grunt. Then you just hear Florin say, oh, really? That's a That's just still nursing your head. <laughs> oh, Lord. I, I, I can stab you again. <laughs> I got nothing. I said you did a nice job. And, ow. I sense that sarcasm. Oh yeah, but I'll like the lot of a tree, a tree. So I think Karma decided to get too bad for me. I like to think, I like to think that this whole conversation was actually happening in game. Oh, and an old person is watching us. I'm just, God is sitting here watching you laughing. <laughs> <laughs> laughing! <laughs> Sorry, good song. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that ends my turn. Yeah, I'm going to get bored. Meanwhile, Serves you right. Meanwhile, I was you could probably climb that tree with a bow. Meanwhile, uh, that would make it Donnie's turn, and uh, Donnie's a, a character. I'll tell you what. What kind of character you would be surprised? Hey, give me just a moment. I haven't had to look up his stats before ever. Catharsis fights a bunch, but Donnie, never. My god. I think, I think I've seen Donnie attack something once. Did he? I mean, as a yeah. duck. I think he hit him with his wing. Nah, I mean, he's attack stuff as a duck sometimes. He'll, like, fly at it, but, I mean, he didn't get a lot of attack moves as a duck. You know what I mean? Ducks. Ducks don't have a lot of attack moves. Ducks have cor corkscrew pieces. Yeah, and breed through rape. Mm -hmm. Now we're demonetized. Take that, YouTube. Donnie's an asshole. I was really hoping that Wedge would just drop a knoll of it right then and there. And yet... You didn't- you were not able to impress your lady this day. Wedge. But you didn't hit it twice. Screen share. Yeah, you probably could be sitting here. You're just missing a huge of my stuff. That's just the question. I'm just gonna shower in a while. I'm not doing it. Rude! <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not lying. I'm lying. Meanwhile, this white smells like earth. Well, earth smells like earth. Like He smells like he smells like dirt. Okay, but there's a lot of different kinds of dirt. I smell some dirt, gross dirt. Okay, give me a sec, cause this is gonna be weird and stupid. Oh god. Okay. 
Is this something I should be at my computer at? Because I'm outside vaping right now. Nah, nah, you cool for a moment. So like dirt with a root rod. I I just attacked that goal, not even at my original max distance without disadvantage. I could have moved back thirty feet and still hit it. Okay, now you're just being a show off. Damn right I am. Okay, can you like I said, you can go get a room. I, I didn't say clearly, nothing. Because clearly you're not trying to aim to impress me. You never know. You fell on your back, you hush you. Uh, yeah, you busted it. Yeah, 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 true, but at the same token, I mean, at least I know what the hell's on. So you see out of uh, basically nowhere, uh, a staff just appears in Donnie's hands. Uh, it's got like an eye on top of it. And uh, he swings it down and the Noel's head just goes crack. And then it'll the little list sunk an arrow into it. Yeah. Yay. It's a dead knoll now. But it was a living I think that's the first thing. Nope. Nope, never mind. It's the second thing we've killed this entire game. <laughs> Good job. I forgot I, I killed I, I killed a citizen. To be fair, that uh that one fucking uh <laughs> that dra pseudo dragon actually killed a kobold before you did that. <laughs> <laughs> so technically, the pseudo dragon has first blood in this game. <laughs> At least as far as PCs are concerned. Savage. <laughs> Ursul takes first blood. Plus twenty gold. We also killed that undead T Rex earlier in the game. Well, it was already dead though, technically. Yeah, that's why I said we killed the undead T Rex. <laughs> But it was already dead. <laughs> so you can't kill if it's already dead. You're just laying it to rest. Uh, actually, I mean, PC first blood. All right, it's time to finally get rid of Vola Bear Hands and Volanthe Nilo. Michael's never using it again. Plus, he can keep his own damn character. Oh wait, I forgot I didn't need to do that because I ended up. I, I I couldn't I couldn't play that character you made for me. It was it's so not me. All right, this knoll moves. Actually, it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six to go attack here, and then uh, you guys notice from behind. Oh no! But you notice because they didn't roll high enough to stealth on you. So. What is from behind? Ah! Oh. There's so many of them! Oh, there's so many. Oh. Great. Is it my turn now? Uh, no, it's technically their turn. They were, they have just now revealed themselves from cover. As they are moving forward. <clears throat> Wait, I think I put them on the wrong goddamn map. God damn it. I did. I always do it. So many layers. This game has layers. Da -dum -sh. Like an onion. To be fair, I don't believe they'll be able to get to you, uh, so I'm gonna make them go cornering. Nope, nope, that's not right. One, two, three, four, five, no, can't reach. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, Three, four, five. And if you are wondering why they only went five, I believe. They only have 30 feet. They do only have 30, but these gnolls can only move five short. Tee hee hee. They're special gnolls. Are they now? 
would love to ask if I could do a perception check to see if these are actually no. No, don't. No. Do it. Uh, be on your turn. Exactly. Watch us pick a fight with the flesh mounds again. Probably. Uh, yeah, it's not actually been done many times. I just hear horns, but you know what? I do not enough eggs to deal with this. That's when we're just like, it's been fun, Donnie. Donnie, Donnie's like, no, don't leave me. No! Damn it, you do Cathars! <laughs> Hey, no. look, the gnolls are doing what they're doing. Okay. They, they have that one, and then they have some pack stuff, but they, they did the one thing they were meant to do. And that was make you pay they attention. That pack stuff? Not that pack stuff, the rampage stuff. Mm -hmm. But that stuff, once again, is more uh, for when they do pack killing. Ouch. Oh my god. It also going? depends on which knoll is there. Da -dum -tsh. And if they're actually knolls. Da -dum -tsh. I. Is it my turn yet? Or is it still the knolls' turn? One sec, the knolls are deciding what to do. Okay, okay. Yeah. I gotta give the knolls a few minutes to think about what they're gonna do. Well, the knolls are very contemplative, they're organized, and they, uh. They've got to decide exactly what it is they're doing. So this knoll, you see, just kind of, you know, chill itself. And you see this knoll right here pull out a longbow. And it is going to shoot at Jules' character. No, oh, no. For no real good reason, honestly, but, you know. I mean, it's going to have to I mean, don't tempt it. Michael knows. Because uh, last time we played, I don't think Major Armor wore off, or... Yeah, Major Armor's got a pretty long state. Uh, okay. Major Armor is a pretty nice spell. Although, speaking of... Perception check. All of us? Yeah, just random. 17? That's 23. Alright. So you guys don't notice anything different. <laughs> of course. And no one will believe when. I wonder whose fault that is. <laughs> As they are being so untrusted. Oh really? You say this. You would Spear thrown at you? Oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. Uh, 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 uh. I think you're all right though, because my rolls are ass today. So you're all right there. And then Michael, this one is going to be also throwing a spear. This guy though is just chilling with this uh, with his nice, nice spear and chilling with it because it's his weapon. All right, all right. So you said uh, yeah, he missed. Spear. Yeah, this one here is throwing his spear. This one here is just with his spear ready to fight, but he's out of range of you, so at least I believe him to be technically. I mean, I mean this one here is 25 feet from me. I think. 20, 20 feet. 20 feet, yeah. 
That one's 10, yeah. I, I, I found pretty close. I went where they needed to be. This one, actually, though, might have had to take disadvantage on the roll against Carly. Ah! Uh, it doesn't matter. He missed because I suck at rolling. As long as, he, as long as he does not hit a 14. And now... He missed for me? <laughs> now it is, uh... Carly's turn. Yay, I'm gonna shoot this one. These ones are behind me. And pretty far. But I'm gonna shoot this one. Alrighty. How far is that from me? Hold on. Uh, I mean, probably already, yeah. Okay. Those have a fairly good distance, yo. I'm using my loop. What? It is a crossbow. It is a crossbow. Money! Five plus five is a ten. Very nice. That's uh. I don't think that's gonna do it. Guys. Yeah, I don't think that is. Just gonna be honest with you there, though. Ah, uh, so that was my action. Uh, it was. I'm gonna. Say out of here. Uh, Run. I have a I have a bonus action. Who wants an inspiration? Yes, um uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I mean go oh go to heaven, put out your favorite boyfriend. <laughs> I'm gonna say, hey Wedge. Uh, 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 that was from a song, uh, um, what's it called? Um, what's the song? So don't fuck this one! Oh, I'll think of it, I'll think of it. Anyway, you get a, uh, an inspiration die of 1d6 for the next 10 minutes. So don't fuck this up! Wait, that guy cat? Get off of my dice tray, please, and don't sit on my face during this game. It's too bad no one knows no. <laughs> oh, hey, how do you know I don't know no? I have a character sheet. <laughs> okay, <what? laughs> I mean, one can change the play for five seconds. Uh, that one's always the one, well, how do you know? And it's like Santa, man. Santa oh, just, everything. that's the point of being the DM. Mm, Florence can change that really quick for five seconds. Six seconds. Let's make him smell, and he knows I'm not popping. Sarah, but that's like five seconds. I thought it was six seconds because it'd be an action. And, and the and the material component is really easy. She just probably needs to find it off, uh, get a little bit of smooth or dirt off the wedge. Yeah, he is dirty. <laughs> and just <laughs> Uh, I have, I have movement, don't I? I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually go like right here beside Florence. Maybe if I can figure out how to move my fucking character. I'm gonna go right here beside Florence, and that's my turn. What did Florence do to deserve this? I'm beside you. Speaking of, uh, I think that would make it Florence's turn now. It is. You know, Florence is like. 
One second. Hello? Hello? Good, how you been? How you been? It's been a while. Did he mute himself? I think he did. Yeah, I, I definitely would. Oh, he did not eat himself. No, not yet. I was actually just talking with Lo about it. He was telling me I should get on it to get on those loans and you know the different funds they were putting out. I mean, I'm thinking to myself, how to fix this problem? Cause uh, one since you may have noticed is does not have many. Fighting spells. No, oh, you're not very. Yeah. Good. You're pretty squishy. Yeah, so she's just like, what the hell do I do? Ooh. You're a little support mage. Yeah, even though someone thought I was the grubby kind and could destroy them in a blow kind of person. I can't believe you stole Wedge's arrows that one time. I did not steal his what arrows! I'm pretty sure you did. No, I didn't. I mean, that's why you died, so surely no, you did. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> like, I did not steal his, this man's arrows. What the hell would I do with their arrows? I can't even use them. Probably I mean, weird ass. Yeah, I bet, you'll eat them. I bet you'll eat them. Great. Uh, I think I'd definitely be interested in having the team go over some of them. For sure, and then probably also do some of my own, you know what I mean, just to you maximize huh? potential. Um, Why does that one want to eat the salt? Just, uh, if you wanted to just uh, send me some way of those, and then, you know, whichever ones you, you think would be that. best handled by the team, just have them handle it. They'll revive your keeps, or if you explode. That's okay, I'll just have Tiamat make me into a lich. If you can't be revived with a lich, I highly doubt the god can bring, uh, if this god of yours brings you back. She's Tiamat, she can do what she wants. No, that is, does not make any sense. It, isn't she, like, not, like, super powerful? She's Tiamat, she can do what she wants. Uh, that is not a very good argument. It's a good enough argument for me. No, it isn't. Our little, our little Tia can, can definitely bring him back as a lich, definitely. Totally, yep, totally. While we're at it, and this is gonna be great to watch. Provided we're we're not paid enough, I'm not paid enough. So you're gonna be left up to your girlfriend bringing you back. Don't metagame, Florence. <laughs> I am not metagaming. She Florence is like, given the fact that he did call you. <laughs> yeah, you just can't call me baby girl. That's kind of weird. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, Lauren can read the room a little bit. I mean, not a lot, but it works. I mean, it's all fine. Is it? Is yes, it? it is. Is it? Yes. Okay. Because he's not there's, lying. there's only way, one way off this mimic, and that's for me to eat the soul. You don't know that. What if Jenny Cataracts wants to eat it? She ain't gonna want to fucking eat it. What if she does? She's not gonna wanna. But what if she does? This is like a totally hypothetical question. So we know she's not going to. But you don't know she's gonna. Or you don't know she's not gonna. Believe me, I'm pretty sure Wedge is the only person who wants to become a vessel. Yeah. Listen, listen, we all know you want to become filled. But that can be done later. <laughs> hot. <laughs> Fucking hot. I think we might not go for that one just because I didn't have as many employees this year as I had last year. I only had one guy who I really paid regularly. And so trying to get all the payroll set up for just me and him. If you think it's uh, still a good idea, I just didn't want to, uh, like, 
over claim or anything on it and have them come back at me or anything, you know? Right. Right, right, right. And that's what I meant is, yeah. Um, right. Right. And I just don't have any set currently for it because I just, I'm a little looser on payroll. But I like you said, it'd be worth it to probably set it up for that. I mean, I'd definitely be willing to do that because you said it, we can do that too after it had come through, right? Well, up to 28 weeks, you said, or 18 weeks? Or was it? I have five spell slots left. And I have, yep, I have about six. I have one spell slot left. Yeah. You're a mage, Wedge. Did you know that? You're a mage. I'm not a mage, I'm a ranger. There's a difference. You're, You're a, a mage. Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a hairy wizard. You're, do you actually, are you actually super hairy? Are, are Ganazi hairy? No, Ganazi are not hairy. So you're not really. That's a fib you just right. made. Uh, I think maybe on that one Who I'm says I was talking not about going at this time just because I'm not having that hey, uh, familiarity with it and maybe just try it. Uh, once again, it's like a once in a lifetime thing too, so it's not like they're going to be giving these out all the time, every time. Um, Right. Well, shake I mean, your head at me. We'll try for it. You know what I mean. If it doesn't go through, it doesn't go through. <laughs> but I'm willing to work for it. Yeah. Exactly. And, and the payroll and everything and set it up. I do not deserve to be sassed. Yes, you don't know what I do in real life. <laughs> you, yeah, you don't want to follow that one up. That statement follows up with "You're a fucking uh, sass, obviously. you sir." <laughs> you're lucky. You're fucking pregnant. <laughs> God, I'm gonna beat your ass. Aww. Oh, I'm gonna call the police. I know. Right? <laughs> oh my god, you ass! <laughs> I tell Katie I'm gonna beat her ass. She goes, No, you aren't. You're too short. Oh, oh nice. Uh, nice. Uh, I take that for 500 bucks, please. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, it sounds awesome. I, I didn't ask, but I'm sure you were going to tell me uh, how much it was for each application. Because I know you said they cost per application. You know, that is a good thing. You're getting fast. Thank you. I needed this stuff. <laughs> it's payback for that time you killed her. But I'm supposed to just let it go. So I, I, it's more of me just snapping it in general. Also. Yeah. You know, Wedge did give you three chances to hit him. It's not his fault you missed the second attack. Awesome. That is true. You took a bad deal, hon. You took a bad deal. Yeah, but also we were all brain dead tired and you could argue with that, too. But, like, you're, like, super smart, though. You're supposed to be the brains of this whole operation. Oh, you took yeah, a bad but deal. you do realize fatigue takes a toll on people. Even but the you're most smartest be... people get tired. You're supposed to be smart anyway. Yeah, but you mean you don't think the most brightest minds get tired? No. <laughs> okay, then let me have you play until you're tired, and then just keep badgering you for another performance. See, I don't get tired is the thing. Oh, the yeah. performance never sleeps. The performance never stops. Okay, then why don't we leave you here at the circus? Because the performance does stop if I'm dead. Who said anything about you being dead? I, mean, I bet it'll kill me. Yeah. The floor, the 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 the, the carnival will kill me eventually. Right, forget yeah. Well then, let's drop you off at another carnival that isn't any good. All carnivals will kill me. All carnivals are evil. Uh huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Leave my short stature out of us. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. Keep sassing. I'm loving the sass because you need the sass. 
I didn't sign up for this. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yeah, awesome. That sounds great to me. Uh, I would definitely uh, be down to do those. Uh, I think for the PP, P, I would also be down to do it depending on how much it was, just because you said it was like 500 to 1,000. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, because I think it's me and one guy and maybe... Uh this third guy but definitely no more than three people that i could claim on this stuff because you know i mean i just don't have that much outsource work i do a lot of in-house work uh regularly for the employee but yeah i'd definitely be down for it in that case to do uh, that one and then probably i'd probably just do the one for the i think you said it was the ied no it wasn't ied it was eidl yeah, I'd be uh, definitely down to do those two for sure. This turned into a moment while we're just thinking. Uh, this has turned into this while we're just partially waiting, and I'm partially thinking of how the heck am I going to make a use of a dagger? Yeah, see, this is like what happens awesome. when that like that great. I appreciate it so you much. Forget you forget what you're doing for a minute. The, the it's because God is having a conversation. You know, it means so much to me. Makes this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was great to see me and him had a fun time. I almost got him in trouble with his lady. I, well, I have an option I can do, and this is going to be the funny option. <laughs> which is great. It's, which is he was safe. He was with me. You know he was good. I can throw the damn dagger. But, yeah. You're going to lose right. the dagger. Yeah, I know. Yeah. This is my only means of uh, doing any damage. I thought you had, like, a spear or something. Yeah, I can use a spear. It doesn't mean that's going to make it any better. Yeah, you shouldn't your spear. Yeah, but I have no means of doing anything else. You don't have any damage spells? I mean... Awesome, you are the best. You always, like I said, I, I, people are always like, who does your tag? I was like, I don't yeah, even look I'm around. I got the best tag person around. Save some of your spells. That's what I'm doing, at least. Yeah, the only other spell I have is a concentration, so I would have to break the concentration. You too, love you, sister. What do you already have? Um, a song. If we're All right. Call, I, call, I, am, call. I am so sorry about that, guys. Oh, no, no we've been sitting here being funny as all get down. I'm, I'm sure, thank God, because uh, meanwhile, I haven't been, I, that was my lawyer. Oh. Yeah, I have to talk to her whenever she calls. Not only because she's my lawyer, but because she's like family to me, so. Oh. Yeah, but also because she's my lawyer and she keeps my ass out of prison. <laughs> and does my taxes. Always have a tax person who is invested in you remaining out of prison. I mean, yeah. But yeah, she uh, she was calling to let me know about um, one. She does my business license stuff, mm -hmm. and then she was ha she's gonna have she's setting us up to do all the grant applications for all the coronavirus stuff, mm -hmm. and she's asking about my taxes and stuff. And uh, <clears throat> a couple people might be able to get paid if they can shut their mouths. Michael, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Just shut your mouth and don't say anything. That's what I'm talking about. Because she was asking how many employees I'm claiming this year. Mm, cough. I believe in Florence. How far is a dagger's range? Uh, 20 to 60 feet. That's pretty good. Uh, it's 20 feet without disadvantage and... Yeah. I thought it was 22... Oh. So what it is, is 22 60 feet without disadvantage past 60 feet with disadvantage. Because there's never a point at which you can't just throw something at something. I, if you can see it, you can throw... You're just probably not good at it. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna double check this, but I'm pretty sure that's how that functions. Unless it's yeah. double disadvantage. Because if that 
No, I thought, I thought the first number listed was the range you can throw it or fire it without disadvantage, and then after that is maximum with disadvantage. That might be it. I think that's bad. Yeah, same thing. The first thing was that long range, and then the second is that it's long range. Uh, when the attacking is yep, attacking. nope. First is the normal range, second is long range. When attacking a target beyond normal range, you have a disadvantage. Yep, and you can't attack with a weapon that's beyond long range. So that is the distance limit is 60 feet. Oh? It has changed once again. And so does that one. With disadvantage. That's, that's why I took sharp shit. Fuck shit. But also, Lauren is not going to have this because, well, she can get a freaking elvish, uh, uh, elvish asteroid beam, but that would just be sitting on him. Is this even 3 5? I don't think any of these ones got damage. Yeah, none of those have any damage on them yet. That one has some damage. Which one were you attacking again? This one. Uh, Alright, yeah. Double check it here. Alright, he is still technically within your disadvantage range. So you gotta roll with disadvantage. Wait, he's still within disadvantage? Yeah, so remember the first one but after 20 feet is disadvantage, after 60 feet you can't even hit. He's within 40 feet. Yeah, so dude, the is 20 feet. So if you were if you were like right here, then that would be fine, but because it's 40 feet, you have to roll with disadvantage. So I'm pretty sure. Bonk. Dagger of range. Yep, 2060. Yeah, the first number is normal range. 20 feet. Normal. It says following normal range, you have to attack with disadvantage. Yeah. 60 feet is limit of range. It's like the absolute edge of where you can attack. I said, I thought, I thought it was the other way too. I had to double check in the book. I was wrong. Which I mean is totally reasonable. <laughs> Never remember this. how they treat it in 3-5. But yeah, I mean, if you'd run that, then yes, that hits. Absolutely. Don't you get your... Oh no, that doesn't do dex bonus damage, right? No, no, it doesn't. Sadly. But, I mean, it does do 3 damage. Yeah, I mean, there goes the dagger. I mean, for sell, tell you get it back. I mean, no, 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 there was a tax bonus in it. Wait, it was added in there? Oh, I see. <laughs> You're having a fun night today. <laughs> I'm starting to think, is this today? Is this one of those things where it's... It's punishing you for being, uh, being gone. It missed you. <laughs> All right, Wedge, it's now your turn. Unless she's moving back 10... I mean, she's going to run back to 20 feet. 
She does have blades on. Nope, that one's 100% in a book somewhere. I forget which book exactly it's in, but I mean, it's in there. It's in a book. That's all I require. I printed out my own book, you printed out lies! <laughs> hey, I offered the proof. So all we ask for is proof from wizards or Gary Gygax himself. All other sources, including Critical Role, are not accepted here. I don't give a shit what a bunch of sweaty nerds say around a table. If I did, I would go to my own table. Oh wait, I did. That's it, buddy. You did. I'm online. This is not a table. It is a virtual <laughs> table. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move over here. That seemed like a good idea. That's my uh, 30 feet of movement, and uh, I'm gonna take an arrow, and I'm going to. It's gonna be one of my poisoned arrows, and I'm going to shoot at that thing back. Alrighty. My own attack roll. Come on, attack. <sighs> you have inspiration. Oh, I do have inspiration. Uh, that's a d6, right? Uh, yes. Alright, I'm gonna roll a d6 and add it to that. <sighs> well, Wedge fucked it up. What if unless, unless an 11 hit. Uh, let me double check. You ever know of some of these early monsters, man? They are very finicky. Oh, wait, why didn't I just use this one? It's got both of them. Um, no, no. I thought maybe yeah. because it was the lower version, but, you know. Yeah, I rolled a, I rolled a 1 on that D6. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, at least you didn't crit fail, right? And then I rolled a 2 on my kid. So, so my plus eight makes that a You know, I'm kind of glad that I didn't make this uh, as hard as I was going to make this. <laughs> is since I've now missed two shots. And they're, I mean, they're kind of in closing. You guys take them down pretty easily. Uh, but yeah. Carly has to do everything herself in this relationship. This is so one-sided. Out of character, I say that. He's gonna run up, and you just see uh, Donnie run over, and uh, Cathars jumps off and goes, No! And runs this way. Which I believe cats have, what, 40 feet? I think, I think 40. He's gonna run and jump on Wedge. <laughs> Wonderful. No! I don't speak cat. <laughs> and uh, you see Donnie just say, Have at thee! as he smashes another goblin right in the head. Or not goblin, no. I nudge, I nudge Florence and I say, She finally got the. <laughs> no! <laughs> he says he is not a cat. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. But he is a coward. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he does that. Uh, this comes back at him. Let's see what it goes. Oh, shit. It strikes out with a lash. And, uh... I forgot what it does. What does this thing do? Oh, I forgot. These things can do multiple. Oh, wait, no. Just that. Oh, right, and then, of course... Oh, but right... Oh. I'm remembering all the things that I had done for this and trying to remember them at least. That reminds me, has anybody taken damage yet? No. Since we started? No. No. I mean, I 
No, I was just curious. I, was, I wanted to know if someone had taken damage. So uh, you see Donnie get hit, and he's like, Ah, you son of a bitch. That was my favorite sock. The only thing that got damaged was um, Horan trying to climb a damn tree. Hello, Wedge. So as it pulls up, it pulls out a spear. And it rolls a nat one to hit. Probably, honestly, at this point, I haven't rolled much better. Alrighty. So the first one will attack Wedge. And it might have. Oh, wait, I forgot. What's. No, I don't think it hit you. I think yours is just high enough. Mine's a 15 AC. Yeah, I just barely didn't roll high enough. Wait, what's the plus on this? Nope. Just barely not high enough. Wait! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that's okay, because uh, this one over here is gonna shoot an arrow at you. Oh, no. Oh, no. And miss. So this one over here is gonna shoot an arrow. At, yeah, everybody's really not rolling great. All right, what is Carly's AC? Oh, uh, a million. Sounds incorrect, but I ain't. Fourteen. Oh, 14, a hit finally. Ow. My gasp. <laughs> um. Wait, oh. wait, who hit me? Uh, the one to your left there. This one here? Yeah. That's the one. Can I? Um... Fuck it. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Alright. Uh, would you like the roll or would you like the fun? Uh, which one's better? That's all up to your luck, I guess. But technically, by statistics, the base. But what fun is that? There's no risk there. Let's go fun. Fun it is. You won the... You won. You did it. Yay! I ate three damage. Go. Is it three real damage? Am I actually hurt? I mean... Perception check? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Come on. Big money, big money, big money. No whammies, no whammies. 19 plus 4 is 23. All right, so uh, I get to send you something. I sent somebody else. I don't know if that'll work. There we go. saying what you believe to be null, so that was missed, that was missed. And this one's gonna shoot Florence. Mostly because because uh, Donnie is not in good sight. Unfortunately, it can't hit fucking Florence, because Florence has high AC right now. Yes. Florence has the AC of a million. <laughs> Which reminds me... I joke, and I, I, I'm joking, I'm not serious, I, I, I'm not sure, sure, I'm not actually in love. Yeah, the mage armor is ridiculous. Uh, I'm not so worried about that. Movement speed being less useful in any situation where you can only deal with one person. So, right, like... Uh, scientifically speaking, if you have two things that are even relatively as fast as something else, they will always be able to box it in and quarter it in in an environment. Oh, no, no, because that's 
people who are contributing to the AC too. That's yeah, true. Nice. Uh, I mean, the AC is one thing. AC just depends on the monster you use. No, that's what I'm saying about the Stay Blade song. So the magical resistance you get from your dragon is more annoying than that. So should we like run or? That's up to you. Pretty lady, who's that lady? I am pretty. It's true. All ladies are pretty, except Michael. <laughs> That's okay, because I'm not a lady. Ooh. Uh, hmm? Should we actually fucking leave him? No. No, we shouldn't. I like how he's, that's coming from the evil guy. enough sense. I would like to take out my, I would like to pull out my crossbow and shoot the knoll right in front of Wedge. Do I get an advantage on it because it's engaged with Wedge? Uh, this one here? Yeah. And you're shooting it from where you're at? Yes. Um... No, if anything, it might gain some cover with, well, from Wedge's body. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Sorry. Just, uh, Sorry. just being honest here, I'm looking at it like if there was a rock there, people would ask for some cover, so I'm gonna type this. <laughs> if Wedge was a rock and I was shooting at one of you there, you would say that was fucking cover. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it was Wedge shooting. <laughs> I'll take a step sideways. And shoot it. Um, nineteen. I mean, it's a good hit. It is a hit. Wait a minute. Max damage. Oh, nice. Very nice. That is actually a good hit there. And then. Going to step right there. Not technically off map. Now you are in this. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> the hand of God picked me up and carried me away. He's not duplicated you. Ah! <laughs> okay. No, I don't have a twin yet. Oh, don't you? Oh God. Uh, but okay, so that that is your turn. Now it is Florence's turn. Okay. Okay. These guys are in range. Before what I'm about to do. Probably pretty, uh, pretty no. not dexterous. Let's see. <laughs> I like how you're not even looking at the chat when I said. <laughs> oh, I am. It's just rolling the numbers for him. So we got that one. That guy's over there now. That one took full damage. Alrighty. There we go. 
and it should be a 15 foot cone. Because it should extend from one point 15 feet to another point. And then outwards 15 feet as well. So it should go from here, and then it should go five and five from 15 out to its elongated lengths with a cone. For people who didn't know how you measure the edge side of a cone technically, if it's a perfectly triangular cone. Axel, I like you stopping scientific while you're hurting my brain. It's easy science, it's called a triangle. I don't know what that is. I mean, uh, they burn, but I mean, they're not, like, flaming. It's a homosexual joke. Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Yes. I just have great balls of fire, that's all. They're not supposed to burn, you know. Well, you tell that to the doctor. Also, it depends on what your kink is. That's Florence's turn, which makes it Wedge's turn again. Um, other than oh wait, yeah, Florence is moving back. Yeah. Right. She just ran up fire. Would I be able to like, uh, with my bow in my left hand, with my right, can I grab my whip and try to trip the doll that's in front of me with it? I mean, I'll accept that because I like the idea. Although I, I trip want to use uh, the disengage action to move away from it, even though I'm already using an action to trip it. Yep. Right. It's like I'm using an action anyway, but this just seems fun because at least this is, that's why I said that's why I like it. It's a better idea in, in any way. What? So yeah, I'm gonna try to use my wit uh, and like so around with her legs. And yeah, more regular. Like, by pulling it. Yeah, so basically this falls under uh, the shove a creature or yeah. pull a creature stuff, which is in essence like a form of grappling kind of. Yeah. Which it is. I mean, when you think about it, it's like, oh yeah, I put the whip around him and if he's stronger than me, you know. You lost your whip. But yeah, I like the idea. So I'd say you roll for either basic attack or you could go for like a specific part on him to get an advantage or something. I'm going to try to like have it uh, wrap around like his ankle and pull that way it kind of pulls All right. And so this is this is for even for me so like and it, it takes a different role but it's still part of the action right because it's something you're doing at the same time. Mm -hmm. But this is like a skilled attack and when I do skilled attacks you call a piece and you take uh, disadvantage, at least when I do them in the in-house, most don't remember. I'll have to double check. But I don't because if I treat it as like an attack roll, I'd be using my dex, which is a plus six, to get the whip around his ankle with disadvantage. So that's what I'm like. Because it's basically, once again, it's just try. It's like hot, trying to hit the bullseye of a thing. It's easy to hit the the overall thing. It's much more difficult to hit them, you know, which is why the disadvantage is usually the best way because even though it seems like, oh, that's only half the chance, it's actually a lot less likely to hit with disadvantage and a lot more likely to hit with advantage. It's pretty good yeah, to stick. I'm going to uh, roll my 2d20s right. right now. Hope to God that it works. Oh, the first one's a 25, and the second one's a 19. All right, so 19, we'll say that that's pretty good attack with the thing you got the whip around his leg. All right, and now I'm going to pull, try to pull the leg out from under him and cause him to fall. Yep. Do you want me to make that a strength? Well, I mean, it's uh, when you're the aggressor, it has to be, I believe, a strength roll in grapple checks. It's when you're a defender, you get to choose which one it is. Which? Did you say seven? I thought that's... 
cutting out, I think. <laughs> they used to saying 17. 17. Yeah, there we go. I was like, is it, if it's a 7, you might be having a bad day today. <laughs> All right, it looks like you are able to pull his leg out from under him. And he is uh, now prone. All right. Which was a lot more useful back in 3. <laughs> Axel, I mean, the 3.5 grandpa. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is just, this is just basically a better action than disengage because it's cooler. It was it was a cooler than disengage action. It was exactly the same amount. The thing is, it's actually better because you technically now have him in an advantageous position. Except for it's gonna be his turn in like five seconds. He's gonna stand up. Technically, could I use my short sword to stab him while I was on the run and then pull away? I mean, if you had another action, you could. <laughs> that was the thing. Is like it was one of those where it was like it really isn't actually any faster. And if you were, if there was like another action to take or someone in opportunity attack light like say like someone could shoot him from right there right now or you know they could move to the side and still shoot him but the problem is this guy gets up next turn and i don't think you get advantage for shooting him not while he's on the ground no well anyways i can move away from him without getting attacked by him now because he's on the ground that is true Yay. And he uh, he is going to have to spend half of his movement to get off the ground next turn. So, I mean, you still come out ahead. So, uh, let's see here. learned that that is not actually how that works which does technically make sense because <laughs> when you're prone you can still attack you just attack with disadvantage <laughs> which does make sense because if you were laying down and someone ran away you could still swipe at their legs but I was just looking at him like, hmm, well, how's this work? It's like, well, it gets to the topic of opportunity at disadvantage because technically it can attack and it can react. You wasted an action. No, here's the thing. It's still technically profitable because, one, it, even though it can attack, it still hasn't, it still has to get up next turn. And once again, if anyone was in range or had a turn, say its turn wasn't till after your turn, you could walk up and stab it while it was on the ground with advantage. Oh. I'm just saying that there are uses for it. It's just uh, this was not one of those times. It's going to fall anyway. There's no way I can hit. So I've, I don't think I've rolled above 10 today, basically, but one time, like to save from Jules fire once, and it was still half damage. <laughs> But uh, that uh, that scene, it missed, so it, sw it swiped at your legs. And this cat is still with you. It goes, meow. Yeah. I would have moved the cat, but I don't have control of the cat. It's alright, I will group you two. Oh, yay. Wait, can I? I should be able to. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Now you have a cat friend. And that makes it their turn. So, uh, first things first, we've got, uh, Donnie over here, and he's gonna be like, you bitch! And, uh, you see him smack the knoll from the left side, and one of its eyes just pops out and it falls over. Yeah. You know, he's killed more things than Wedge now. 
Not if you count fucking uh, floors. <laughs> Uh, and then he's gonna go down one, two, three, four, five, six to engage. Then we've got, I'm trying to look at what we got on here. All right, this guy is going to uh, use half his movement to pop up. Why do you also need the wedge? And then he's gonna go down here because he can't reach wedge. Well, you like it, obviously. One, two, three. That's the size of the coin. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. Oh, God, he got so big. Three. Uh, basically, the kobolds make their moves. Or sorry, I don't know why I was calling kobolds. It's because they don't look like gnolls to me with this character design from far out. They look like little kobolds. But it's fine. I know they're supposed to be nose close up. Anyway, uh, this knoll came to market and he said, I still have my longbow. He's going to attack Michael and miss. Oh, <laughs> he didn't miss. Did he crit? Yeah, he did. Son of a bitch. How is he really spending the damage? Might. You know what? I'll even let you see what he does. Where's my dice roller? How do I make it two or two not the DM? Yeah, pretty good. Just like it. Pop. Ah, yeah, there you go. You're fine. He does. Uh, <laughs> damn it, it's going to me still. It's uh, seven, I think. No, it's seven because he got a crit. Oh, right. Oh wait, no, that's right, I forget. I'm supposed to roll it twice, right, for crits? Yeah, you double the dice, so I'm it just... Yeah, I thought it was just a doubling of the dice. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not a doubling of the dice, you just take what you Oh, sh yeah, no, it's... It is, it is so what it is. Uh, player's Basic Rules Handbook, page 196 is when you score a critical hit, you get to roll extra dice for the attack's damage against the target, roll all the attack's damage tw dice twice and add them together, then add any relevant modifiers. To speed up, you can add all the damage dice at once, or you can roll the damage dice at once. So I am supposed to roll a second dice. Oh. You learn something new every day. Come on, one. So uh, we'll just keep it with that, though, for now. Unless Michael wants me to re-roll, but I figure Michael's fairly happy with a three. I, I'm, I'm fairly happy with that because, uh, you know, there was the whole thing. I'm, I'm not at full health right now. Yeah, nobody's at full health right now, I believe. Nah. Yeah. Because I just get too afraid to go to sleep. Yeah, it also doesn't help that you guys keep pissing off the skull and he hits you with random stuff. Speaking of which, who all took damage again? Well, I, I took damage. I took damage. So, uh, it took a second, but I want you to roll a d20. God fucking damn it, you axe. I don't want to, I don't want to get older. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, I like getting older. Nineteen. All right. You're a seal. You have a very long lifespan. We don't. <laughs> All right, and this time I'm going to decide whether you go up or down. Are you sure? Like you act like God, you I like I rolled a 12 on my d20. Alright, that's the number of years you've just aged. Same for Carly. You just aged 12 years? God damn it. How I aged you? 19 years? Yeah. <sighs> that's really not that big a deal for a seal. I don't want to be that old. Huh? Everybody's got to get old and die. Anyway. I, I can't remember how old Wedge was when we ended last time because of all the bullshit. I think you were pretty close to your original age, actually. I was 35, and you were one year younger than me, so you were 34. Okay. Well, Wedge is now 46. I'm 57! Yeah, you're also a half-elf. You have longer lifespan than I do. Hashtag MILF. <laughs> <laughs> 
So does our stream watchers. Our had children, so she is a cougar. Fair. This is like as if I had any. I'm a trap. You are a trap, actually. Just for you, Michael. Yay! I am the, the sexiest of traps. Uh, alright, so then we got this guy right in front of you now, looking real unhappy. And they're just gonna go, hey, um, attack. Oh, shit, I think they hit. No, no they didn't. Damn, failure. So he, uh, his stuff brushes harmlessly off the mage armor. And you just hear an angry... Um, Poison's gonna use her, uh, use Mute to Sphere as a climbing weapon. Nice. Well, we still have a couple more Cobalt. Or, goddammit, Knowles. I will get this right. This Knowles gonna shoot at Michael. No, don't shoot at me. It's because the other Knowles are kind of there. Oh, oh no, did you quit again? <laughs> <laughs> I I can't make this shit up. I know. And this is like I literally didn't hit that's how I knew it was coming too. I was like, I haven't hit anything all game, so I have to be coming on something. Okay, quick question. Does cutting does cutting words work on a crit? I can't remember if spells can crit, but I thought I feel like I, we've had this discussion and they can. An attack rule. Yeah, that's the rule. That's right. This, this is a spell. Ooh, here you go, Michael. When an attack, cutting words is as a reaction when a creature that's not immune to being charmed, you can see within 60 feet, makes an attack roll, ability check, or damage roll. You can expend one use of bardic inspiration, roll the die, and subtract the number from the creature's roll. You can do so after the roll before knowing the result. So, does that work on a crit? So, for example, if I were to roll a 6 and lower that hit to a 14, would he just not get hit at all? Hello? For the uh, Bardic Inspiration? For Cutting Words. Oh, Cutting Words. Uh, let me double check. Because it's always rough. Cutting Words uses Bardic Inspiration, but it doesn't. It's not Bardic Inspiration. Trying to save Wedge. Never thought it would be the day. Yeah, I, I didn't think I'd get crit twice in a row. Neither did me. I'm starting to think Karma is trying to say something, but I, I just don't think I want to hear it. I don't want to say it. Because I told you I left it alone. Horus left it alone. I think it's getting in one end taken for a certain statement he has said. <laughs> so the the two things we'll go for, and this is uh, one of the reasons I'm looking for it for other stuff, not just for this, just to see how it interacts in the future. And it's part of the reason. So like, some DMs don't do it, and if they don't, it's a sign that they're not understanding of how some mechanics work in D and D. In that when you make the roll, you either give the attack roll if it has a specific set like that, or you run the the actual thing. And so this one is rough because uh, we did it both at once and because the roll basically determines it. So like you'll tell them, does a 17 hit? And the reason you say that as a DM is to give people a chance to like pull down, etc., know what your run is before you go into stuff like pulling down bardic inspiration and or using bardic inspiration to pump or cutting words to pull back. 
and you do it before the determination of a success. The problem with a critical role is it's immediately gives away the determination of success. Hmm. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out exactly how it's handled. Yeah, because technically, technically, I don't know exactly what the the uh, result of that roll is, except that it's 20. Technically. Right. That this is where we. I think I've actually had this conversation before with another bard. And I don't remember. I don't know why I didn't remember. Um, so there's usually determinations and other things that go with like ifs, ands, or buts. Uh, I gotta double check this in the player's handbook though, because I'm going off of that tweet. And granted, it's from a very famous D and D guy who's really good at running the rules and stuff. But you always check the book. Yeah. Always. So player's handbook 194. It's not quite 194. Oh my god, this takes so long to go down. Why does it take so long to go down? And it doesn't show the page, does it? <laughs> it's alright, it's fine. Oh my god. It is not fine. Everything is not fine, everyone. Give me a moment. Contents. There we go. You can choose to use this feature after the creature makes its roll. Yeah, the yeah. thing is, you can use the feature, but the the what what the problem is is what the crit roll is. Yeah, that's, and what, I, that's what I mean because it says, but before the DM determines whether the attack right. or ability check succeeds or fails. Right, and this it's even beyond that. Like it doesn't even determine. It doesn't even matter if it fails or not in this sense because of. Uh, this piece right here, and this is the one I was looking for, I think. I'm trying to determine if I'm on the right page. I tried, bud. <laughs> Where is he getting this? see how this doesn't give a possibility See if I can find that in here. Penalty. So where's the next version of it? Oh bull crap! I know it's in here. philosophy. See, I thought that's what it said in the thing, but it's not it's giving any even wizards no this is some rando never take five random sources never 
<laughs> Refuse incredulity. Refuse it. I don't see any reason not like the dude is saying this but I'm not seeing anything in the actual book that says you nothing can override a critical hit so I don't know why he is saying it also there's a fair thing that makes critical criticals not not Cancels a critical. So not nothing. He lied. I think he just meant you can't change the number of a critical hit. All uh, that move does is turn it into a normal hit. It doesn't change the critical. But even still, like his claim, I'm not seeing any backup for even on the page he's sending it for so i don't see why it wouldn't i'm just trying to find the page because i'm only finding one fucking page small entry and i know there's a bigger entry on critical hits hey, wait, what's your AC? Uh, 15. Ooh, is this even gonna be possible well what you're doing like it'll hit it the, the question is if we can stop it from being a crit I don't think you can stop it. It's, he's hit like a twenty-four or something. Yeah, I don't think okay. I don't think your max roll. You're not stopping the hit. You're stopping the double damage. Right. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Let's that's start. that's what we're trying to stop here, and I'm trying to see if that can be prevented or not by doing what you're trying to do, which I I'm not seeing any reason it couldn't. Yeah. But I'm, once again, I cannot find the page where they do the nice full listed outlook of crits that they used to do. This one is literally like fucking two sentences. I know it's not the entire thing they have on crit. But maybe it is, I guess. Okay, there we go. Well, sometimes... Got a quick question. There we go. Um, does the, a tweet from Jer uh, Jeremy Cro Crawford? Can yeah, that's the one I'm looking at, but he's referencing that page with no actual, like, there's nothing on that page that would indicate what he's saying. Like, the page he's referencing doesn't have the info he's referencing, I think. I think the info he's referencing is the role page, which is what would actually... Uh, which actually has the wording I think he's trying to use, which is uh, rolling 1 or 20, right? So sometimes fate blesses or curses a combatant, causing the novice to hit and the veteran to miss. If the d20 roll for an attack is a 20, the attack hits regardless of any modifiers or the target's AC. I think that is the part that he's talking about, that it doesn't matter what you do to it afterwards, it hits now. So what I'm hearing is that she can technically make it so that it's not a critical hit, but it still hits. No, I think you, like what's said, it's, it says the attack hits regardless, but she, yeah. No, I mean, it says not the attack hits regardless is called a critical hit. No, because then it's, it is a critical hit still. Even though she's reducing it after it's been a critical hit, there's no stopping the damage, and any critical hit still does double damage. So even though it technically lowers the number, it's still a critical hit. It's just a critical hit at 16, which technically makes sense when you think of the fact that uh, you can increase your critical hit range on weapons. I think you can in 5e. I know you could in 3.5. You could increase your critical hit range pretty far. It's, it's, it's that they, I think they made it class specific. That one's not class specific. Yeah. To be fair, that actually makes it more accessible, but less abusive. Because before you had to spend like a full couple points or a feet point on it, but you could stack it on a weapon and get like crits at, at like 15. <laughs> But, but the problem, yeah, which once again, it was a problem because you could roll 15 and it automatically hits because it's a critical. 
So I guess that's the logic he's going with. But that, I think that thing that he's talking about is not on that page that he listed. Because I can't find it on that page. The only thing on that page is like melee attacks, escaping a grapple, ranged combat. And that's, that's if I'm on the wrong one. And then if I'm on the right page, then it's on the page with... But these are important to know. Critical hits. Because there is a section for critical hits, but that section doesn't actually cover that. It just covers the double damage that critical hits do. But yeah. Unfortunately, you cannot reduce the damage. We're just going to have to hope I suck at rolling, which... I mean, except for those two crits I have. 